Hey guys, Jared here, Magnetic Men's Club. Hope everyone's doing well. I just had an interesting question from my camera guy behind there, Nate. He gets first-hand knowledge of the shit that I fucking talk about every day. This is for younger guys, okay? His question was, how as a younger man in his 20s develop and maintain frame when you're interacting or dating women? And it's a good question because your frame actually starts when you're young. It's when you start putting into that work, getting into the gym, you know, you're obviously building your careers, you're building your mindset, maybe you're in school, so you're building your education so you can get a job. All of this starts building what we call your frame. And a frame is just that. Think of a picture frame on the wall. And in that picture, you get to put whatever you want that's going to represent who you are. If it's a perfect square, meaning we are very rigid in our frame, which you need to be, it can't be a circle, it can't be a triangle, can't be this weird shape, it's a frame. And inside that frame, there's certain attributes that you need to develop first as a young man. And once you develop them, it's easier to maintain because you've done the habits. So an example of this would be going to the gym is a form of maintaining frame because you're maintaining and you're telling the world, I value my physical body. I value my health. I value my fitness. Eating well is a form of maintaining your frame because it tells the world, I value nutrition, I value water. I value putting in healthy things into my body. Dressing well, another sign of maintaining frame is I'm not wearing freaking football jerseys. I'm not wearing child's clothes. I've grown out of being a child. I'm wearing men's clothes. I'm dressing well. I see myself as my own brand. So I want to represent my brand the way I envision my life. So it's dressing well. Having a positive mental attitude is a way of maintaining your frame because you value positive energy, you value people coming into your life and not bitching and complaining. They want to benefit from you and you want to bounce ideas off of it. Oftentimes young guys talk about maybe the three basics. We're gonna go out and get drunk tonight, we're gonna have sex with a lot of bitches and go to our job on Monday or, or whatever. They're, they're not talking about ideas. They're not looking at each other, say, hey man, Nate, you're an awesome cameraman. You, you're great at this. Let's put a business together because I'm really good at this, okay? It's maintaining that positive energy, maintaining that can-do attitude. That's also part as a young man that you need to start bringing into your frame. So if you're very negative, if you're a negative person, nobody wants to be around you. I don't care if you look like Brad fucking Pitt. If you're negative and you're always putting people down, nobody wants to be around you. So having that positive mental attitude, having that can-do attitude, having that um, almost that gratitude that you're just happy that you're able to live your path and purpose, that's all part of maintaining your frame. Then when you get into a relationship, having strong boundaries because your frame is your boundary. If you don't like something and your girlfriend or the girl you're, you're prospecting to become a girlfriend does it and you don't check it, basically giving up your frame because you're afraid that she might not give you sex, you're afraid that she'll leave you, so you're willing to give up some things where it should be the opposite way around. It's maintaining that respect. So an example of this would be, I personally don't like when girls put their stupid bikini pics up or they're in a bathroom with the duck face looking like morons and they put no caption up, just like, I'm feeling cute, hee hee hee, or this dumb shit. You're just looking for attention. I don't like attention-seeking girls. So if I tell my girlfriend or my prospective girlfriend, hey, from here on out, if we're dating, if you gotta do that, if you have to put up a bikini pic so that everybody sees you, you're just bird calling. That's all you're doing is you're just trying to get attention. I don't like that, so that needs to stop. And if she does it and you don't check her, i.e. leave, well then you just broke your own frame because you're afraid of her. 
You're afraid of somebody 110 freaking pounds. This is all about maintaining frame. It's not maintaining control. It's maintaining control of your boundary. It's maintaining control of who you are and not letting some internal force, i.e. a woman or a relationship come in and try to change that. That's what I mean about maintaining strong frames. It's staying true to who you are, staying true to your idea or your brand of what you want to represent. Think about it this way. If I'm dating them, she's not representing my brand. So she actually just lessened my brand by her flaunting her body to every single guy that's out there. To me, that's a hard no. To me, you're gone. And if I don't check it and I don't tell her, listen, I don't like this. And if she does it and I allow it just because I want to get some ass, then I've lost my frame. She's actually lost respect for me because I let her do it or I didn't check her. So young men, if you're watching this, I would actually tell you if you're in your early 20s, don't even date women. These are your building years. These are the years that like Nate, 22 years old, he's building graphics, he's building his video services, he's building his photography. He's out there grinding. He doesn't have time to spend money on women that he doesn't have right now. He's building his education, going to online classes and learning from me and learning from people. He doesn't have time to be texting all day long to a woman and neither do you. These are your building years. If you can take your 20s and hustle hard for as long as it takes to succeed, the women are gonna be there. You don't have to worry about that. You don't have to worry about the FOMO or fear of missing out. The women will be there. And you're going to be one of those guys who has leveled up so much that maybe the 25-year-old version of yourself is living like a 35 or 40-year-old version of a man, meaning income level. Maybe you're making that kind of money at that young age. I know influencers that I've met recently that are doing about 100,000 a month on their different channels and they're in their 20s. They decided to stop dating women, stop going out, stop acting like a fool and focus, focus, focus on what it is that they want out of life. And once they're able to reach that, then they can say, okay, I'm ready for this type of person to enter my life. I'm ready to give myself to a woman or be open to be dating, be open to these things, but they stop doing that to focus. So this is what I invite young men to do. Stop chasing women, start chasing your excellence, start chasing your path and purpose. A really good way to do that, if you're 18 and you're really not sure what you should be doing, I invite you to look into going into the military. I did it, I needed to go into the military because I'm up here in shithole Syracuse, New York, where there are no opportunities. I saw basically what would become of me in five or 10 years, drinking and just basically in the small town. I already saw it. I already saw if I keep doing the same things I'm doing, I'm gonna be exactly where I am, just older. So I left, I went into the military. I forced myself to leave this state. I met some amazing people. I did a really cool job. I loved, um, I got to travel the world and I came back here at 26 or 27, rematched up with a girl I dated, you know, years before we ended up getting married, we ended up having kids. But I had all of this experience that I would never have without leaving this state, without leaving and going to the military. I'm not pushing that, but the military is really one of the few options most men have to actually get out of the situation that they're in. This is a huge world. There's lots of different people in this world. There's lots of different cultures. It's not, we're not all the same. We're not all living the way we do in the US. So that's what this whole video is about. If you're young, just focus on you. Don't go out there and just focus on women because it's, it's not the fact that you're focusing on women, it's the fact that you're taking your attention away to women that you need your attention to yourself. This is all about frame. As you get older, your frame 
is either a good solid frame or it's wishy-washy because you haven't done the work. With that, my name is Jared Schoomaker. I hope this helped. Again, this is really for younger guys. Even if you're a younger guy and you need a little bit of help in this, you wanna to talk to somebody, book a free consultation with me. Again, it's free, we'll spend about an hour, but this is really important. I wanna see everybody do as well as they can. My name is Jared Schoomaker. This is Magnetic Men's Club. We'll talk soon.